I have half a mind to reload this whole thing, but I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, what's good, y'all? If you're new to the channel, my name is Shadiq, and like the across the media. Bugsy Malone is actually one of my favorite UK artists. He has some of my most replayed projects, some of my most replayed songs. I, I really enjoy everything that he puts out. Like, it's very rare that he misses for me, but I also feel like the moments when he does miss that song could definitely cater to a different audience even more. So I understand the need to diversify your sound and all that. And really and truly, it's about like Bugsy who's been evolving so fluently over the years. You gotta give him his credit. He's been pulling these million views like nothing with these past couple videos. And this one is no exception. So I wanna see what it's saying. I'm not gonna hold y'all too much longer. Let's get it. Fucking Bugsy Malone. 21. She wants to know if I'm happy, I see happiest for squares and I'm a star now Squid games because the umbrella's the Milano Diamonds in a triangle like it's a Mitsubishi I say fuck a Mitsubishi, I'm a chauffeur kind of guy now Said it's been a minute, are you ready for the tour? I said it's Halloween, I'm like Mike Myers in a walk No one's on my level, but one of these guys are rappers If this was Monopoly, I own everything on the board I'm Trying to tell them Taking this back, yo Put some respect on Bugsy Malone he is high key one of the best out of the UK. I, I, I think that he doesn't get spoken about in those conversations as much, but I think that he has such a distinct lane. I can't even like make a comparison if I'm being honest. Like the comparison I always make in my head when I try to explain certain artists to other people, I try to like make analogies to artists who they're probably more familiar with. Bugsy Malone is like a Jay-Z in the sense that he's always evolving, his business mindset, the, the growth of his brand, the growth of his character. You, you just gotta give him his respect, yo. This is taking me back to like his JDZ, uh, JDZ, JDZ Media. Fuck him, his Malone. Spitfires. 21. She wants to know if I'm happy. I see happiest for squares and I'm a star now. Squid games because the umbrella's the Milano. Diamonds in a triangle like it's a Mitsubishi. I say fuck a Mitsubishi. I'm a chauffeur kind of guy now. Said it's been a minute. Are you ready for the tour? I said it's Halloween. I'm like Mike Myers in a walk. No one's on my level, but one of these guys are rappers. If this was Monopoly, I own everything on the board. I'm trying to tell her if she doesn't get it. She thinks the money takes the pain away. She can forget it. Age 13 when we had to go and get it. 14, we seen a spinner. With a real bullet, put the safety on and in a man bag we had to put it. See when you're rolling with a gang, chilling doesn't put it. Especially when you're either I have to pull this back because his storytelling. Bugsy Malone has some of the best storytelling. Like some of the best storytelling. I think that Bugsy Malone and Potter could probably make a fire track. Like their storytelling is just on a completely different level. Like the way that they their styles come together, I think that would bang. Bugsy Malone is one of those people where he makes you feel like he doesn't run out of things to say. Like he doesn't run out of experiences to share and things to talk about and ways to talk about it. And the way that he weaves in and out of his subject matter, it, it's seamless. He's one of the few that does it so seamlessly. Also, it's a minor note, but people that he has the you know, the Prada um, jacket and then the way that they had the Night After Halloween thing in the beginning, it probably is a coincidence, but it looks like it with the red bar and the whatever, but. To go and get it, 4E, we seen a spinner with a real bullet, put the safety on and in a man bag we had to put it. See when you're rolling with a gang, chilling doesn't put it. Especially when you're idolizing these murderers, it don't occur to you to even name me, live to be great. Ah, fuck, trust it. And that's why he says these things are just so like, Maybe insightful isn't the word I'm looking for, but it's like he's kind of having almost like revelations to a degree, or I don't know how to put it. Like the fact that he can he can help humanize, right? Somebody say, "Oh, you know, were you idolizing these murderers?" Like you don't think to consider maybe they regret it, and that really just makes you stop and think. Like, damn. I mean, it's a, it's not to take away from what those people do, but it really does kind of really put a slightly different spin on it. Like, what what is really going through their mind? Like, ah, I don't know. I don't want to spend too much time on that thought, but that's why I like Bugsy Malone. He, he says these things that makes you kind of take a step back and really reflect. Yeah, <laughs> and really make you do this. Ah, fuck trusting. That'll get your school pushed in. JD back with a hottie on a no love thing. You saw him crushed it. But don't let him think you've gone soft and get peasing. But don't let him know you've got caught. Just keep smiling. Ah, oh, that's a myth. The devil's in the details of the guys that I'm with Couple white boys with me, that's them Irish kids Couple mixed race chilies on some violence Dark skin nigga, real tribal But the scars on his face are from a knife yeah. They give him IPP, he said he's psycho yeah. 
When your idols become your rivals, your name carries weight when the product is reliable. Most of these rappers come and go, I'm like a backbone to the game, I feel fine. Spent a Q million, my million. I have half a mind to reload this whole thing, but I'm not gonna do that. Cause it's just under four minutes, I wanna get through it, but put some respect on Bugsy Malone. Idols become your rivals, your name carries weight when the product is reliable. Yeah. Most of these rappers come and go, I'm like a backbone yeah. to the game, I feel fine. Spent a Q million, my million, a Bible. I hope I'm he does a studio like a And I got buttons on the Royce to close the doors on either side. Lost control of the 63, I could've died. 180 all the way home, mother's life. Lay a finger on my mum, I'm getting nicked by all my side. I remember when Rem got nicked and given life. And it just hit me like the fact that he just went through what he went through with the case, right? People running up on him in his home, right? So that may be related to that thought, probably, probably not. I don't know, who knows? But um, also put some respect on his breath control too. I'm not a rapper, I don't make music, but I can acknowledge that to do what he's doing, this is one take, and he's just on road. Well, he's not on road, but he's outside. You feel me? While I would prefer that the audio quality could be a little bit better, I think that the trade-off in that is just him demonstrating what makes him such an elite MC. He's spinning outside, no extra edits, no extra takes, straight through, like, it is, is what it is. You know what I mean? That, that Those things are the things that I don't think we really get a chance to appreciate as much with some of the more contemporary artists because they're typically like, either doing something on a platform or they're doing a studio. So that's why I like no miming so much. It's like, you can't, well, you can redo it. It's got stuff in the beginning, you know what I mean? Uh, that's why I appreciate it. For the 63, I could have like died. 180 all the way home, mother's life. Lay a finger on my mom, I'm getting nicked by all my sides. I remember when Rem got nicked and given life. A man at the murder squad belling off their line. You think the jail's a joke and drilling is a game? He might not see the roads again until he's 55. Tried to get me incarcerated when he testified. He made me swear on the Bible, so I never lied. I had my baby to protect. So I could look him in his eye and I said, Fuck the broken George. You should have seen the other guy, huh? No, he didn't say the exact same thing, but he, he he made that kind of reference in one of his most recent songs we saw about, um, I think it was in, was it December? I think it was in December when he mentioned the fact that he had to protect somebody um, and then, you know, everything. Again, alluding back to the situation that, you know, the case that he just busted and everything. And he said something like, he said something along the lines of like, looking at the other guy, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But I feel like he, he made a similar reference in one of his more recent tracks. Fight, tried to get me incarcerated when he testified He made me swear on the Bible so I never lied I had my baby to protect So I could look him in his eye and I said fuck the broken George You should have seen the other guy huh? Somebody pray for me when the arena's full What they gonna say to me? My uncle tells me I'm notorious I paved the way I say you mad you're the gangster I was trying to be I got killers in my family I'll introduce you to standing Should have seen the way I've been hitting corners one handed Bangers in the gang and no man all over the country My uncles are living legend My youngest are fucking hungry Drillers in the gang and they Let's take back that flow and put some respect on I don't even care if he was running out of breath a little bit Like you gotta Gotta respect that to stand should have seen the way I've been hitting corners one handed bangers in the gang and no man all over the country my uncles are living legend my youngest are fucking hungry drillers in the gang and they introduced me to brandy I'm no fun when I get angry I'm like a bandit you wouldn't understand it unless you've ever been so hungry that you rob man just to grab a sandwich and you're coming up so the elevator's out of order I own the rights to every single song cause I'm a hoarder Sparks and Rosenberg standing in my corner but I run the business so I'm sat thinking in the sauna Again, right, didn't I just say that earlier? He is a businessman. He is the closest, one of the closest parallels to like a Jay-Z that I can make. I don't like making those kind of analogies. I understand how people can feel about it, but I just like to make that comparison for those who may not have another point of reference, right? Like he's he's very business-minded. And again, the way that he talks about the things that he's been through, but not in such a way to make you feel like he's still there so you can respect him more. Like he's acknowledging that's where he's been, but still framing it in such a way that it's like, that's where I've been. That's where I was. That's not who I am now. And he, he just doesn't do it in a way that makes it makes him feel washed up, in my opinion, at least.
Yeah, procrastinating in the steam room, you smile like it, but it's like the cranium is see through. Coincidentally, when you're infamous, they wanna be you. There's only one king in the north, they'll never be two. The last three gang niggas are rated, kind of fell off. Turns out they started hating on me because I'm well off. It's a shame when they're jealous, especially when you started from the bottom. I was radio from the good fellas. I'm a happy, happy as the squares, and I'm a star now. Squid games because the umbrellas don't belong now. Diamonds in a triangle like it's a Mitsubishi. I say, fuck a Mitsubishi, I'm a show for she said it's the arena though, you ready for the night? I love Manchester like the fucking purge in real life Everybody's saying red light, green light But I don't have to play no fucking squid games, I'm set for life Let's be, let's be, Ooh, he's saying, I, don't, I get it, I don't have to go play the squid games, I already have the bread Heard it, but let's take back that sequence, I like the fact that his man jumped in to finish the line that was cold. Especially when you started from the bottom, I was radio from the good fellas. I'm a happy, happy as the squares, and I'm a star now. Squid games because the umbrellas don't belong now. Diamonds in a triangle like it's a mix of fish. I'm, say, fish I'm not gonna hold you. My man looked like he, he was waiting for that moment. He was just like, yeah, I don't know what I'm about to do. He, he was ready. It's time to shine. Cause I'm well off. It's a shame when you're jealous. Especially when you started from the bottom. I'm a great girl from the front. Good you fellas, I'm a happy. Happy as the squares and I'm a star now. Squid game because the umbrellas don't belong now. Diamonds in a triangle like right. it's a Mr. Fishy. I say, fuck a Mr. Fishy, I'm a show for kind of guys now. She said it's the arena though. You ready for the night? I love Manchester like the fucking purge in real life. Everybody's saying red light, green light. But I don't have to play no fucking squid games. I'm set for life. Fucking go to Malone. Yeah? These silly little rappers, I know what they're thinking, they're thinking fuck bugs him alone. I'd be thinking fuck bugs him alone if I was a little fucking punk rapper. They're hating, because the Resurrection Tour is the biggest fucking tour in UK rap history. Who pissed them off? That seems to be the, the, the question of the freaking month, or the quarter, this quarter of the year. Who pissed them off? It's like everybody's just saying that freaking Lee ass double L's. And then walks asked freaking I think D Rose, who pissed them off? Who pissed off Bugsy, man? And the tickets are hotcakes. And we're snapping the game in us. Real spooky. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that definitely did take us back. That took us back to the the, the freestyle days, yo. Shout out to Bugsy. So this channel we hold the vows. That means we're getting straight into it. And this one re-solidified exactly why Bugsy Malone is one of my favorite UK artists he he makes things that they just stand out within all the noise of what's going on in the midst of when grime was more prevalent he managed to find a way to stand out within that noise and that was when he was more so emerging and then now in the midst of like drill he's finding ways to stand out. even in the midst of like the afro swing afro bashment kind of wave he still found ways to stand out and it's he's really like one of those artists that I don't think people really outwardly acknowledge and give the respect that they really should and it probably isn't malicious I, I i don't know i don't know how to put it yo it's like he he pops out maybe there's something happening around him whether it be the news or just whatever he puts out back-to-back -back bangs he drops a project and he goes right back into working but he's also one of those artists where he gives you things that are going to have a very long and strong shelf life versus like a lot of music that drops these days is really just like to kind of keep you going and like like the next couple weeks months maybe and then it just kind of fizzles out like bugsy malone is like the perfect example of like if you were to make analogies of like the pre tiktok ish kind of era and like the tiktok era like we're in an era right now where our, our attention spans are so short we need this quick instant gratification again hold me down until you give me something else bugsy makes things that are gonna last like those old viral videos that you actually go back and watch over and over again I mean, that's the kind of parallel that I'm making. Y'all let me know if that makes sense. But from the top, his clothes were cold. Bugsy Malone is one of those artists where I say from time to time that he kind of talks at you while he's rapping. He kind of talks on beat. This time around, I was able to actually pinpoint flows. And that's not a criticism or a critique. It's just like, this is something that I noticed about him. Um, versus, again, this time around, he was really flowing on it. And again, to do that in one take, or at least seemingly in one take, unless the editing was just that good, right and then to have that much breath control you saw the moments where he had to take a split second to catch it again so that just goes to show you that what he's doing isn't easy got to give him respect for that the beat again it took me back to like that 2018 19 ish kind of era but it did so in such a way that it made me feel like damn like uh, we're kind of past that i don't know I, I appreciate it especially again in this day and age where we're just kind of oversaturated with certain things I like that and now this is going to stand out to me. I do kind of wish that it was studio recorded. I hope that there is a studio recorded version. There may or may not be. 
I think it's cold nonetheless. I also really appreciate what he does with his lyricism. Bugsy Malone is an artist who, however it is he finds his ways to do it, he is able to weave so seamlessly through every single line, every single topic, all the subject matters, all those things. And he still does it in such a way that it makes sense. It doesn't feel out of place and just off-putting. I don't know how he does it. He, he's just that good. I don't even really think there's that much else to say. If you want to hear what else I have to say about that, listen to all my other Bugsy Malone reactions because I say these things over and over again. This is a very replayable one. This is one of those that makes you want to go back to YouTube for a song. Oftentimes when something drops, you want to find a studio version, you play it. This is one of those, again, like a Spitfire, like all those joints where you have to go on YouTube to find it. This is one of those that's going to keep like his YouTube life very strong. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. And as always, hang tight for some more reactions. I do got more of those coming for y'all. But until next time, peace.